Hello, in this video, we will be completing individual activities in the critical thinking workbook. The first question is called incomplete figure. Using the figure below, give yourself five minutes to create something from it. So the original figure just had these two lines that you see here. And then I added the following lines. to create a flower. The title of my figure is flower. The next question is called divide the figure. Divide this figure into four equal parts that are the same size and shape. So after some trial and error, I think I finally figured out how to solve this problem. So I'm going to draw another figure on here. So here's the figure. So we are going to start by dividing it into three equal parts. And then we will divide these three equal parts into 12 equal parts. And then I will show you with the marker the four equal parts. So this is part one. One. This is two. Two. This is three. Three. And lastly, this is four. And there you have it. Divide the figure into four equal parts that are the same size and shape. Okay. The third and last question is the candle problem. Using the materials on the table, a cardboard box of thumbtacks, matches, and a candle, figure out how to attach the candle to the wall above the table so that the wax does not drip on the table. So here's the illustration. There's a box of thumbtacks, candle, and matches. So in order to solve this problem, you would need to remove the thumbtacks from the box. Then you would thumbtack the box to the wall. Here's my thumbtacks. You would put the candle inside of the box so that the wax drips inside of the box and not onto the table. Here's my candle. Here's a little flame. <laughs> yeah, and then you would you would use the matches to light it. And there you have it. The candle is inside of the box, so when you light it with the match, it drips into the box attached to the wall. All right, guys, that's it. Those are my uh, 3.7 individual activities from Practical Critical Thinking. Thank you.